Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Kick back, relax, and come take a ride with me. Those North Carolina Tar Heels making some noise still, even in July, adding to that roster they currently have with the recent commitment from James Oconquo out of West Virginia. He entered the transfer portal 10 days after Bob Huggins resigned from the head coaching job at West Virginia. Now, this is a big get on paper. He's only averaging two points a game, but he shot 57% from the field, and he averaged three rebounds. He only played 10 minutes a game last season, but what will immediately stick out more than even his offense, his energy, and his ability to get boards, putbacks, finish at the rim, be a rim runner in those pick and roll situations, be an extra body. He, he instantly becomes the second strongest big man on this team behind Armando Bacot. He's a different type of big than Jalen Washington as well as Zayden Hodge. Got a little bit more meat on him, and he's going to do more of the dirty work and be able to really impact on the defensive end of things as well. I think that'll be where his biggest contribution will be being that rim protection shot blocker in case Baycott, Baycott goes and gets in the foul trouble or is a little banged up or just needs a breather. Now they have that veteran. He's played two years of college basketball already, but he's still only 19, 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like he came into college as a 17-year-old, reclassified up two years in high school, and I believe his best basketball is still ahead of him. Let's get into it. You are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. So like we mentioned, the numbers aren't going to blow you away. 2.5 points per game, 3.2 rebounds in 10 minutes per game last season. Coming off the bench for the Mountaineers. He was a sophomore and... Honestly, it was the most that he's played since he's gotten to college. He only played in three games as a freshman. So being a regular in that rotation last year, we got to see, like we said, the rim running ability, the ability to set solid screens, attack the paint, get putbacks, create extra possessions, crash the glass, really eat up the glass, get those extra possessions for his team, and just his awareness, the burst, being able to get up the get off the ground quickly, get these boards, finish these dunks. Just another big body that's going to help shore up this front court for Carolina. This addition will be huge more so because the energy he'll bring as well as the skill set because he's a different type of big than High or Washington. He's more like Bay Cotton. He's big. He's physical. He's going to play with his back to the basket. He's going to crash the boards, eat up the glass. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to be getting body down there, built like a grown man. Like we said, he's 6'8", 240 pounds. I believe his best basketball is definitely ahead of him. He'll probably play a bigger role with Carolina this year than he did at West Virginia last year. And this is also just another trickle-down effect of Bob Huggins resigning and West Virginia losing transfer after transfer after transfer. And he took a couple visits to UNC, fell in love, and it seemed like he sees how he can really impact in the system. He's going to be able to get up and down the court and really unlock that, I think, finishing ability, being able to be more spaced out. He's got the ability to beat other bigs down the floor. So I think playing in this pace and space and running up and down the floor, how Carolina likes to push the pace, I think that is going to greatly benefit his skill set and unlock some skills. Now, he doesn't have really a go-to move on offense, but, you know what I'm saying, he shows some flashes with the hook shot, got a little floater to his game, you know what I'm saying. He's got a couple tricks in his bag, but more so he'll be a rim runner finishing stuff. But that shot blocking, that anchor in the paint that he can become, really just adds another crucial dimension to this front court where you got Washington who, you know, can block shots and score the basketball, but he's a slender guy and he's still coming along as well. But we saw big flashes with him and then High coming in from the high school ranks, just a freshman, you know what I'm saying? This takes pressure off of him to be able to not be thrown straight into the fire now and he can continue to work on his body as well. But a Conquo coming in ready, built, 
ready to contribute immediately and just take some relief off Big Hot, man, because the last couple seasons when he's gone out of the game, the paint has been wide open, and they haven't had any type of relief coming off the bench to really negate his absence when he goes out the game. Well, that's no more. That is no more. That problem has been addressed. They still have two scholarships left, so it'll be interesting to see what else they decide to do if they decide to do anything. But I think this is a big pickup for them because of the fact that it adds that crucial depth. And you got somebody that isn't named Baycott that can crash the glass, protect the paint, be physical, do the dirty work, and also get those high-energy dunks and game-changing momentum plays that he's able to do with just having a high motor and being a hustle player. So it'll be exciting, man. I think this is a jolt of energy that the Tar Heels needed. They definitely needed the the front court was the the area that was lacking in the transfer portal. They added to the back court as well as with Elliot Kadu's signing. And they added in the wing with Harrison Ingram and those guys. They added wing scoring, um, and now you get a chance to beef up, bring some more beef to that front line to that front court. So exciting to see, man. This is a big add. And there's still some names floating around, so two scholarships left. We'll see what happens, but shout-out Coach Hubert Davis and staff still getting it done while the season is looming. Anyways, let me know what y'all think in the comments. That's a wrap for us. For all the latest and the greatest, hit that subscribe button and join the memberships. We got, we got tiers now. We got memberships. For that content, that extra exclusive content, you dig? I'm Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Until next time, hey, we out.